Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by global warming. You should then be able to describe some of the biological consequences of global warming. And finally you should be able to describe what's meant by peer review. Now I should point out that we've already covered this topic in the chemistry videos. In this video we're going to look at the effects of global warming on living organisms. Over the last hundred years the average temperature of the earth has been increasing. Now you need to understand that the Earth's temperature has changed many times in the past. These were natural changes in the climate. However, scientists believe that the current increase in temperature is caused by human activities. For many decades now, humans have released huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This is mainly due to burning fossil fuels such as coal and oil. The levels of methane in the atmosphere have also increased. Methane is produced by bacteria in paddy fields, which are used to grow rice. Methane is also released by cows when they pass wind. Both carbon dioxide and methane are greenhouse gases. In other words, they trap heat in the atmosphere. And this is leading to global warming. Now thousands of scientific papers have been published on global warming. And these have been checked by other scientists before being published. Scientists call this checking process peer review. Peer review helps to detect false claims and makes sure that research published in scientific journals is valid. Now, one important point that you need to understand is that reports in the popular media, for example newspapers, are not subject to peer review. This means that reporting on global warming can sometimes be oversimplified, inaccurate or biased. So as we've seen, the temperature of the earth is increasing. So how will this affect animals and plants? Well, one of the main consequences of global warming will be loss of habitats. We're already seeing a reduction in ice levels in the Arctic, and this will cause the populations of Arctic organisms such as polar bears to fall as their habitats reduced. As global temperatures rise, animals such as birds and insects may gradually extend their range northwards towards cooler conditions. I'm showing here a mosquito. Many species of mosquito carry diseases that affect humans, for example, malaria. At the moment, these species of mosquitoes cannot survive the cold conditions of the UK. However, it's possible that with global warming, the range of these insects may spread to the UK and diseases such as malaria may be brought with them. As we saw in a previous video, many species of animals migrate. For example, we saw that in the winter, swallows migrate from the UK to Africa. With global warming, the migration patterns of lots of different animals may change. Global warming could also affect plants. For example, in the UK, spring plants are flowering earlier due to warmer conditions. As temperatures increase, we may be able to grow crops such as grapes in parts of the UK where we cannot today. However, in other parts of the world, it may be too hot to grow the crops that they need. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on global warming in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.